Hello everyone. Today we are talking about Antarctica. So there's the Arctic area that is up north. We're talking about Antarctica that is down on the bottom of the globe. So this is Antarctica. And that would be the South Pole where this hole in my globe is. So we've talked a little bit about Antarctica before. Um, but let me share what information I have. So Antarctica is the coldest and windiest place on the earth. The lowest temperature that's ever been recorded on our planet is, has been recorded in Antarctica and it is 128 degrees below zero. So for us 32 is freezing when it would start snowing then all the way down to zero, then start going negative, negative one, negative two, all the way down to 128. So crazy cold. Uh, Antarctica is 98% covered in ice. So all the land, except for a little bit, is covered in ice. There are only two seasons. You probably could guess there is winter, a long, very cold winter, and summer. Because of the way, this is a whole different topic, but because of the way our earth is tilted, so when it is tilted and away from the sun, so every day it spins around, but it's tilted going around the sun. So part of the year, Antarctica doesn't see sun at all. 24 hours of darkness. But then when it's on, the other side, oh, I've got a light here, that works out well. The sun, it's pointed towards the sun. So in the middle of its summer, sun for 24 hours a day, all day long, day and night, even at midnight, still sunny outside. Um, so two seasons, winter and summer, no spring, no fall. Um, Antarctica is considered a desert which I think is very interesting. And that is because uh, to be a desert, it means that you don't get very much rainfall or precipitation, very much snowfall, rainfall, and Antarctica doesn't get very much rain or snow. What little snow it gets piles up and adds to Antarctica because it doesn't melt off. So that's very cool. Oh, and I'll show you my there's my little map of Antarctica in the South Pole, right in the center there. Let's see. Oh, the other interesting thing, um, well, the thing that I thought was interesting is people, humans, don't live in Antarctica year-round. The only people that go to Antarctica are scientists doing research, so they may live there in... Um, research housing for weeks or even a few months, but nobody would live there all year round. Um, or tourists, people that just want to go to Antarctica and see the animals or just be able to say that they've been to Antarctica. Um, so you can go visit, but you cannot live there. So that is my information. That's what I thought was really interesting about Antarctica. So now let's move on to animals. So there aren't very many different kinds of animals that live in Antarctica. You can probably guess why. It is very cold. <laughs> so a lot of animals cannot live there. The main animals that live on the land are penguins and seals. There are also seabirds uh, that live around there and there are um, sea life that lives around, that lives in the South Ocean around Antarctica. Alright, so penguins. I have a cute picture, let's see if you can see that, of chin strap penguins. Oh, that's not in focus. They have, if you get a chance to look up a picture of chin strap penguins, they have a little marking right under their chin that looks like a little strap. 
So there are in the world 18 species of penguins. Um, and different people will tell you there are different amounts in Antarctica, but several of those species live in Antarctica. Some of them you may have heard of, the Adelie penguin, the emperor penguin, the king penguin, chin strap, which is the one we just saw the picture of, gentoo, rockhopper, and macaroni. Um, those ones I recommend looking up pictures of as well. The rockhopper or macaroni have funny feathers that look like goofy eyebrows that stick out. I think they're very cute. Uh, many kind of seals. Let's see. Let's see. Show you a picture of a. Let's see. Weddle. Weddle seal. That's a baby. A young one. Super cute. There are also leopard seals you may have heard of. Um, Ross seals, crab eater seals, Weddle, which I hadn't heard of. And Antarctic fur seal, which I had and some of the animals that live in the ocean around are bottlenose dolphins and when I say live um, most of them are just visiting the water around Antarctica has a lot of krill which attracts some of the sea life like uh, the baleen whales the whales that have baleen for mouths that strain krill through their baleen. Um, so that's our craft today actually, is a blue whale. I'll show you because I have it right here. And a blue whale is the biggest animal in the world. So some of the sea life, uh, bottlenose dolphins, orcas, um, some different whales, the right whale, the sperm whale, the humpback whale, fin whale and the blue whale, the largest animal in the world. And like I said, a lot of birds, a lot of different types of birds, seabirds that come visit, like the wandering albatross, which is very large. It has a wingspan, can be up to 11 feet. So if I stretch my arms out, that's less than six feet. So very, very big bird. That is my information about Antarctica. So I hope everyone's doing well.